I'd like to spend a few minutes explaining about the benefits of using 3D Interop's persistent naming translation feature in your application to import and re-import CAD data. The problem we're looking at here is when an end user is working with a model imported from a CAD system and does some work with that model which shows that the model needs changing. Going back to the original system and modifying the model is usually pretty straightforward, but then re-importing it and repeating the steps can be both time consuming and error prone. Sometimes this process may have to be repeated several times to iterate to the correct configuration of the model. Persistent names are identifiers that the original CAD system puts onto faces or edges. These are used in the feature-based CAD as ways of referencing the faces or edges as inputs to later features in the model. They exist unchanged as long as the face or edge remains in the model even if it gets modified. To show this in action, I have loaded a CAD model that I'm going to run a strength analysis on. My analysis is simply to process a set of faces in the model and check that the material behind them is greater than 2 millimeters thick. I'm going to select the large face midway up the model as my starting or base face. and the flat surface on the top as my end face. After setting these two, you can see that the start face is blue and the end face is red. The analysis finds all these faces between these two and samples them. Then at each sample point, the thickness is measured by firing a ray into the model and seeing how far away it emerges. For thickness under the 2 mm, a range of colors are assigned. Having run the analysis, we can see that the central region of the top face is too thin. To fix this, I have to go back to my original design and modify the bar on the top to go all the way. Before I do that, let's just look at the faces I've selected. Because in my setup of the analysis, I have chosen to reference them using the persistent name, which will still be the name of the face in the model after I modify it in the CAD system re-import. You can see the names of these two faces when I look at my analysis setup. The start face has a string identify 40-44-1-0 and the end face has an identifier 81-54-1-0-0. These reference names are created in the CAD system and will be attached to that piece of topology for as long as it exists in the model. So now when I re-import the change file with the bar modified, then my application can search through the model for the faces with the names that I am using. And as long as the model hasn't changed so much that the faces have disappeared, then it can find them and automatically reattach my analysis definitions to the modified model. The start face still has the same ID. and the end face still has the same ID. You can see that the analysis setup has automatically marked the start and end face without me having to reassign them and that these two faces still have the original persistent names. So now I run my analysis again without having to do any manual setup and the result is what I wanted to achieve.
Just to prove a point, I made some pretty big changes to the model and re-imported it. You can see the model has changed significantly, but my analysis setup was done automatically as the start and end phase still exist in the model. So even with these fairly large changes to the model, I can run my simulation without any manual setup required and see the result I expected. This mechanism may be applied in other workflows such as calculating toolpaths for machining or measurement machines. Often the design will change and the software has to be rerun with the new model. My example was a very basic simulation. For a real-world application, the setup will be far more complex and often the number of cycles of analysis and re-import will be quite large. For such a repetitive task, both the time it takes to set up the inputs for each simulation and the potential for human error are massively reduced. There is therefore a huge potential cost saving to end users of any application using this simple referencing mechanism. Available with Spatials 3D Interop Translator. For more information about Spatial software development toolkits, visit www.spatial.com.